What is up everyone? So, if you can't tell by the outside, uh, I'm back in Connecticut, uh, finally. Um, I tried to film like a whole vlog in between like the whole traveling process and it, it didn't work out. So we're here in Connecticut a few days late. So it took me like a whole entire day and a half to pack up my truck and my cars and everything. And then it took me like a day and a half to drive back from Florida. So I am completely exhausted, like beyond exhausted, but I want to get a video out today because uh, I haven't posted in a little while and uh, well, I hate missing videos. So I'm excited to be home, but I definitely miss the guys down at the compound because honestly, I love being there. Um, it just feels like a family. I'm so unbelievably thankful that LZ has allowed me to be a part of his space and uh, to just, well, have fun down there and do my thing, get in the way, and just have a good time. And uh, I can't thank him enough. And uh, it's been amazing. So I can't wait to see the guys very shortly. A lot of them are gonna come up for Drift Week. It's gonna be a good time and whatever. So I need to stop rambling on. Let's get to the shop and see how the guys are doing because I've missed them so freaking much. Tell me you miss me. Well, look who decided to show up for work. <laughs> Welcome back. Steven? My dog. <laughs> What's up? I miss my road dog. I know, man. It's been a while. How was the trip? I see you got the slaps. It on was smooth. I got to make sure nothing's damaged. I heard some crazy noise back here a couple times. Everything looks good. Yo, I will never get over how cool this looks. Let's have this stuff posted up outside the front for like I the next week. I haven't seen the truck and trailer together since January. Yeah, I've missed the truck. Yeah? Like probably the most. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steven's like, my boots! My boots are back! <laughs> Yo. Stevie's boots have been back here for a couple months. Oh man, it's good to have you back. DJ's not gonna be happy that I'm back. He's gonna be stoked that his pitter's back. The pitter. The pitter. Yeah. I got it back in all, nice and safe for you, Donalds. Look at Tony. Speaking of. What's he doing? Well, I have no idea. It's like great, my boss is here. I actually have to work. <laughs> What's that? Fire steering pump? From Johnny Shits. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, choosing his time wisely. Working on his own car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see how Donnie's been. I, I've seen his videos. He's been busy. I'm very proud of him. It smells crazy in here. I'm turning the music off. Hold up. Copyright free. Dave is back. Okay, I'm here for updates. Updates. I've been watching the videos, but okay. they might not have been because they're sleeping. Wall. Black. Painted. Love that. Black, as you can see. If you see DJ, you guys. Okay, you guys remember what the old shop looked like because well, you watched the videos. And remember, he knocked the whole office, or two of the offices down, and he repurposed the whole wall. He put his reflective little mirrors in there, or yeah. windows. To match the windows. And at first, we were kind of a little skeptical. We're like, Donnie, why are you even doing that? But now, like, it looks dope because it looks like a showroom at a dealership. Looks like a showroom, but the cars are not showroom uh, cars. They're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, Word on the street is you're, you're painting this thing this weekend. This weekend. It's been a long time. It's been like four months, this shave. Yeah. Shaved bay. I told you it sucks. Yeah. But, and Brian asked me if I would do it again, and I would say, I said, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but it's, it's gonna, I think it's going to be worth it. It is, Very for sure. Worth. And I'm happy because, like, this is your first over-the-top car. 100%. And yeah. I feel like everyone needs one. I wanted to just do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. It's going to be It's gonna be something. I mean, the seam seal. All right, that's cool. All right. If you guys want more updates, go watch DJ's channel. You know what it is. All right, so I don't want to miss the video for today, so we're going to give a quick little update around the shop of everything going on, because it's been a, obviously a couple weeks. I want to do something to the blue S15, right over there, you see on jack stands. And then we're going to spend the rest of the night unloading the trailer, because there's a lot of stuff. So, first thing is first, as you guys can see, the pewter S15 is officially on the ground. This thing has been on the, the lift in the air for almost a year now. So it's rolling again, we got it on the ground. It's actually on the wheels that the blue S15 was on, and it actually doesn't look too bad. Kind of nicely on the ground, but we have some plans to do things with this very shortly, and I don't want to announce any of it until like it's all set in stone. But uh, as of right now, it's actually getting some attention, which is really good news. And I've actually had an engine for this thing forever. The last piece I needed to get the internals together, it, it showed up when I was gone after four months, which is exciting. So the big thing right now is my chaser. Like, I, I've been missing working on this thing because we made good progress on it, and then boom, halted. Then we got the trans, awesome, put the engine in, then boom, halted. The next big thing is we have to get the turbo in the car so we can start piping the whole thing up. Engine harness is almost done and we're good to go from there. Unfortunately, I went nuts trying to find a turbo manifold for this thing. Like I literally went insane. Talked to a million people. Fortunately, the one that I ordered is taking a lot longer to come in than I anticipated. Just a supply chain issue. I just, you know how it goes. So that should literally be in next week. 
hopefully. Once that's in, it's like game on. We can finally get this damn car together because I am dying to work on it. Because I mean, I won't, especially after hanging out with Adam and his chaser, it's just, I cannot wait to play with this car. And then the Sonda. We sent the engine out to get finally rebuilt by JP. Fully built KA. If you guys follow him on Instagram, you would see that he's been, oh man, the bottom end they banged out, like boom. But the head, we put oversized valves in it. He hand ported the entire thing, like went crazy. All new everything. The head is fully rebuilt. The thing's gonna sound insane. And it's gonna make a lot of power. So I wish I had it in a different chassis because this thing is gonna only be useless after 300, but. Either way, it's cool. Tony's eating pop tarts per usual. What flavor? Blueberry. Blueberry? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Not a fan. <laughs> the Autech S15. You saw we got this like right before I left and uh, got new wheels for it. That's the big thing for this. Gonna be the, the big, the big grabber here. I talked about potentially keeping it, potentially flipping it, but either way, it needed new wheels. It just needed a better look, and so I got a wheel for it. Boom! We got Gram lights right here. These are made by Ray, so it's made by the same wheel as like a TE37. Ant consider these things the TE's little brother. And that's the best way to put it. So if you check exactly. this out, these are the 57 DRs and it's a six spoke, just like the TE's. There's a little bit more of an arch to them and I, they're like a bubbly TE. Mm -hmm. So I love uh, S15s on one piece wheels. Like they look sick with three piece, but for some reason one piece wheels just complements them a lot better. And uh, you could still obviously get these things brand new. So we sent these off to powder coat last week. I saw a blue S15 on white TEs and I was obsessed with it. And I was like, let's try white. It's a kind of a lot, it's really bright. One thing we're gonna do before we put them on though, I thought this would be a cool touch. It actually might look really bad, but it could look really good. No, not bad. I actually bad. found blue Gram light stickers. Wasn't easy to find. I already put one on and I think it like does a lot for the wheel. It does so much. Like TEs without stickers looks like a road of grade. So I think putting this, the Gram light sticker on these wheels does a lot for it, so. And the car's blue. And the car's blue, like blue and blue. That's kind of cool. No sticker and sticker. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of blue, but if I'm gonna do blue, you're gonna do it right. I'm gonna own it. <laughs> we went with a pretty skinny tire this time, the 225-35. Yeah. So it's it's not very tall, but the S15, they don't really have much room for fitment, and I kind of want this car kind of wheel gap tight. The S14 is a pretty chassis tall, so even when you're like sitting lip. They don't really scrape much, which is nice. So the only thing that sucks is, first off, it's HKS coilover, so it doesn't go that low. Mm -hmm. They don't have camber plates for some reason. So we can't adjust camber on here. Just nuts. I don't guys, know. What is HKS doing? And the previous guy cut the factory studs to put spacers on. So with this spacer, it's probably gonna be a really tight fit. So we might have to go to the store and replace all the studs. Dude, Ooh. look how much that pokes. Holy shit. That pokes pretty Oh my cool. god. Because the wheels are spec'd out good for the chassis. Same, Same specs, specs as, as the, the black, black one. So these are 18 by nine and a half plus 22, which is kind of like the universal fitment, right? Mm -hmm. Still fits so tight. S15s, they're such, they're, they're catfishes, dude. They, they, are. Look, they look all big, mean. No, they're so skinny, they can't fish shit under these fenders. Look at that, though. RJ hates it. Good. 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 How's this looking? Oh, wow, these coils sag a lot. I <laughs> love the, the blue on blue is pretty cool. Wow, Check these are like very white. <laughs> Damn, it needs a wing. A darker, it needs a wing. Man, <laughs> Man a darker color would have been a little classy looking, but this looks fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> All right, we got to take that spacer off. Let's go buy some studs and replace those because that's not going to work with the spacer. No. Since the previous owner had to cut these to fit his spacers, they are no longer long enough to accept the wheel. So, got to hammer that thing out. Sometimes there's enough space behind the thing to get them out. Boom. That's it. I also completely forgot to mention about the 8.6 because we haven't talked about it in a long time. 8.6 is officially done. We have to go to Raddy's and pick it up this week or probably next week or this weekend. And all of the parts for the key series are finally in. Like the last piece showed up when I showed up today. And we have everything I need to assemble my pretty gangster K24. Dude, I am, I mean, I love race car engines. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a race car engine. I don't, yeah, like, yeah. you guys need to understand that. This is going to be real deal NA race car engine. With a stock bottom end. With the stock bottom. <laughs> um, Close well, enough. Other good news about yeah. Raddy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a swap. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a swap. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm picking up my 8.6 and you're gonna drop off your. No, no, no. You're dropping off. My <laughs> <eight> <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna drop off this to Raddy. He's gonna put a cage in it for Brian, and I get to pick up the 8.6. It's a win-win. Yeah, yeah. You get more space and you get your car back. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Is it focused? New stud. Let's see. We, I got it in before without having to take the brakes off. See that? Boom. So we have this tool from Harbor Freight. You see that? It's like a, there's a bearing in it. Hmm. So you put there. You get a throwaway lug nut, which is right here. 
sticking on. That's it. So you don't need this. You can kind of stack washers, but it kind of makes a mess of things and you'll ruin a lot of lug nuts. But after you do, do this, make sure you check your wheel tightness after like your first mile of driving on them because sometimes they settle even more. So we got eight more to go and get the wheels on. We're probably gonna want some camber in it. Oh, she's good. Okay, well, that's a lot better. Just might have to change the coil hoers out real quick. I don't even think these things go that low either. They're maxed out. These coils are maxed out. It might look a little goofy with wheel gap in these small ass tires, but it's all part of the process. All right, let's get this thing on the ground and hopefully we lose, well, about all of this. All of that. <laughs> right here, right here. This is, this is the viewing area. Come on, you get your bums over here. Carolina squad. You got that right thing tooted. You got a tooted S15. Tooted, bro. Alright, come on, drop that thing down. Do it soft, or is he gonna do it like he normally does it? He's gonna do it soft because right. whistling diesel might buy it and then crush it for fun. No, the rear looks pretty dumb, diddy. I like those stickers. Oh, oh. Not, bad. Oh, not bad. Functional. Functional. Definitely needs front camber and a little bit more. I like it. I love it. Love it. The blue sticker was such a good <laughs> ad. The rear's not bad. Go a little Sorry. lower. The front though, we need some help. Come on, this thing. Stop. Stop. Ant. I think it's Anthony's good. still 21. No, we're not going for functional with this. Why would you not want your vehicle to be functional? No, we are. It's, it, okay, S14, S15s on 18s, real chassis high. Yep. So if you can get your your fitment right, it's functional. This. It's like this okay. I, obviously, I'm getting old, but <laughs> this looks like it's gonna drive. Awesome. Yeah, but the front looks dorky. We the front yeah. looks a little, a little dorky, dorky, but just barely. I'm but you know what like, fix that? RJ's a little dorky. We still hang out with him. Well, he kind of hangs out with us. <laughs> it's a beautiful. <laughs> what, what was that, Steve? It's a beautiful car. Love that. All right, all right. Uh, hey, that's a good look. Pants. It's fun. It's a fun look. If it okay, you know what it's missing? Skirts. I need side skirts. Yeah. Mm, Jimmy what, Arrow what Oaks. I got a lot of comments, surprisingly, about. Uh, if I put arrow on this car, it's gonna like devalue it. Since it's an all tech and they didn't fact, they, they didn't technically come arrow, a lot of people thought it would devalue it if I added arrow to it. it see, it's weird because like you would think that. If but, it was an all tech skyline. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Putting arrow on this car would only increase the value. And yeah. and uh, and that's coming from someone who is very like very actively in the S15 market. If you're not in the S15 market, you also might not be aware of the current price of S15 Aero. If you put S15 Aero on a bologna sandwich, yeah. it's gonna be worth a lot of money. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I know there's a lot of moments where you're like, well, Jimmy's an idiot. Like I put a lot of thought into things, guys. So, all right, like, trust me, Aero, not only would it make the car look a lot better. I mean, even though not Aero is a vibe, it's fun. It will only increase the value of the car. This It'll never decrease looks, it. This car looks sick as is, but yep. it's one of those things where like, you know it could be better, but you don't mind if it's not better. Mm -hmm. But once it's better, you'll never go back. Exactly. Just because it's an all tech doesn't mean adding arrow would decrease the value. Trust me, it would only bring it up. And guess what? I have it. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get the front fitment on this thing figured out, but we have new coilovers for it, which will uh, will then get us a little bit lower and we can actually add some camber for it so it looks a little bit tighter. So one thing I don't know if I want to do it or not, I'm going to ask you guys about this is, so you see these things are... 57 DRs, right? Nissan actually did a collab with, or Nismo did a collab wheel with Ray on a Graham light, but it was the 57 CR. Mm -hmm. So the difference between the two wheels is this is a six spoke versus the other one was a five spoke. I like the six spoke a lot better. It seems more filled out. The five mm -hmm. spoke, it seems like it's a little missing something, right? Mm -hmm. Because the spokes are so skinny when there's five, it's not my favorite. But what's cool is they made a Nismo center cap for these wheels. So I got, black and i got silver right they offered both and they might not go i had to get them because the idea of it is pretty cool i wish yeah. that wasn't red but they might work they might not so this is black i don't want to pop it in because then i can't take it out oh that's not coming out all right so we have black <laughs> which damn the black does i just i just think it might clash that's the only thing i'm worried about kind of but we might get used to it but the black with the black lug nuts it kind of yeah. works all right black nismo center cap and it's like kind of not legit, but also kind of legit at the same time, you know? Silver. It's weird, right? Because the black one blends in better, so it looks nice, but the silver, I think, looks cleaner.
Look how much it does for it. Come on. Look how much it brings the body down. Is that nuts? It does drastically. Doesn't that do so much for it? It needs it bad. I mean, the color is like so off. It's so different, yeah. This thing's also super dusty. Look at it. Oh. See, once the dust is All off, right. it's not too bad. I hate that that's such a thing. It Putting air on will only increase value of the car. Exactly. So, and makes it look a hell of a lot cooler. All right, so white is definitely a different vibe. It's very bright. It's very like just fun looking. And it probably wouldn't be my first choice if this was like my only S15. That sounds weird, but it's kind of fun to have a different look though. And I think once we get the air on, it's gonna look really, really dope. So very happy about it. It's a fun thing to come home to, but uh, I know we're just doing a little bit of talking thing. We just put wheels on, but that's all I got in me today. I didn't have much time and I still, I don't even think I, I, I can't unload this today. Honestly, I'm gonna go home, edit this video and I need to sleep. I have not gotten any sleep in a couple days. So oh, I'm gonna bring this stuff back home where it's safe <laughs> and uh, we'll unload all of it tomorrow. Cause it's supposed to be nice out. <sighs> Dude, I can't get over how cool this whole thing is. and. It's like weird to see it all back home, but uh, I'm very excited to have my truck back because I've been daily driving the Corolla. Definitely very happy to have my S chassis back. Coupe, there's a couple things I want to do to it. I really want to get this thing ready for drift week, and we'll talk all about that tomorrow. And then the S15, I cannot wait to get this whole boost creep issue figured out, get it on a link, and because uh, she deserves it, and finally send the thing to the moon because it's going to be a fun car. But in the meantime, I'm going to go shut up and edit this video so you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and i'll see you guys very shortly